subscribe. Hey, hey now, hey everybody. Ow! We're here. Hey, R2, R3, there we go. Awesome. Welcome, you guys. Welcome. This is Talking Van Halen. If you like Van Halen, this is the place you want to be. Friday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern, 8.15 p.m. Eastern, okay. 5.15. <laughs> Tonight, tonight's 8.15. It's my fault. Pacific. I apologize. <laughs> November 19th, 2021. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, it's like, what? How many days till Christmas, man? I mean, this is, I know it's not even Thanksgiving. So don't. Christmas, man. Is that Santa? Christmas. It, it's the Christmas man. <laughs> Ellie, Ellie, you got to go to bed. The Christmas man's coming. Christmas man is, is uh, I, I hear him on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming to get you. He's coming to get you. Oh my gosh. So yeah, welcome you guys. Welcome. As I said, this is talking Van Halen. If you like Van Halen, this is the place you want to be. Make sure to smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you've if this is your first time, if you've never been here before, and drop some comments down below on on replay. Let us know how awesome the show is or let us know how crappy it is. I mean, Either way, right? Let us know. Either, Let us know what you either like, way, what you don't like. Yeah, Roth versus Hagar. Drop it below because we've never we've never heard that before. We'll take it. Yeah, we're trying. We got a brand new thing we're we're trying to. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Un uncharted waters. Roth, Hagar. <laughs> Who you got? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So welcome, you guys. Jay Hannon is here. There he yes, is. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Good to see you, man. It's good to see you too. Yeah, yeah. It's been it's been a cr craziness as as always, but uh, we're here finally. We are we Thank. are here. Thank. Whoops, wrong button. You know who else is here, Johnny? Hmm. Well, he's in the chat right now, so we might as well mention him. We got Adam from Fu Dash Home. Hey. Hey man. Hey now. hey now. Hey, hey now, Adam. Adam, good to see you, man. Good to see you. F you tone. You guys, you guys like do you guys like tone? Do you like tone? Good tone. tone. Good tone. You got you got you gotta like great tone. And if if you wanna if you wanna get some great great tone, make sure you go to fu-tone.com. The ultimate in tonal and perform performance upgrades for your locking tremolos, all kinds of cool stuff, brass blocks, uh, uh, titanium screws, titanium, all yeah, titanium um, everything, and now guitars, as guitars, well. which Ooh. actually we talked about last last Friday, didn't we? Yes, we did. Towards, yeah, we we actually talked about some of some of the Fu Tone guitars last last Friday. Yep, I'm telling you that uh, that Seafoam Green one, that Seafoam. Yeah. Adam, any uh, awesome. I don't want to put you on the spot, Adam, but are, are there any uh, Black Friday deals coming up at Fu Dash Tone? <clears throat> kind of uh, mm. kind of curious, curious to see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> try to leave now. Try to, try to just, just get out of here. <laughs> Kramer. <laughs> I see your background there. Yeah, so okay. So you yeah, yeah you know I get it. I get it. Yeah. He, he says yes. He says yes. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, man. Awesome. So yeah. So yeah, welcome everybody. And uh, let's let, let's let's make this a proper show. Let, let's okay. let's do let's do this for real. Here on Johnny Bean TV, here on YouTube, we have channel members, the top tier of channel members here on Johnny Bean TV YouTube channel. Dave Ennis, Vinyl Freak fifty one fifty, Mike Nice, Mike, thank you so much for your extra support, man. 
Music Therapy Laz, great to hang out with you yesterday. Majestic PB and J Cat, thank you for your comments on YouTube. I see these everywhere I go. I see these people. Wayno, I think I see you on on Twitter. False flag, he's actually me. I see him in in my head. <laughs> Andy Carson, Michael B, R Habs, the Chad, the Chad, Lenny Lou, Lenny Lou, and Mary, James Gum, John Moronic, Stephen Franklin, Michael Smith, the captain, the captain, everybody, it's the captain. Yes. Thomas Santiago, Joe Christian, Jimmy Ray Hawkins, and Steve Carmichael. That's the top tier of channel membership here on Johnny Bean TV on the YouTube side of Johnny Bean. The Johnny Bean TV brand is a, a universal. It, 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 it goes across the entire Internet. We're live on YouTube. We're live on Facebook. Eventually, we'll be live on LinkedIn. Razzers. Well, maybe it, maybe the late show. Mm. Uh, but yeah, we're live everywhere, but currently here, there's channel membership on YouTube. So if you'd like to become a channel member, click that join button right below the 20 thumbs ups. Come on. Thank you so much. Sit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you so much to YouTube. We can't even, well, none, none of, I can see it. None of you can see the thumbs downs from now on. So oh, thank you, so YouTube. No, no. Boo them. <laughs> boo, boo them. <laughs> boo YouTube. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Remember, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names can never hurt. People just can't take criticism anymore. I mean, if you put up a video and it's crap, let people tell you it's crap. And let other people know it's crap, too. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Well, maybe other, may, maybe other nights <laughs> on other channels. Oh, they did the same thing on Netflix, Johnny. Remember a couple years ago, there was a uh, comedian that had a uh, a special come out, and it was just getting bombarded with thumbs downs. So they removed <laughs> the thumbs downs. It's like, uh -huh. oh, God, just mm. get rid of get rid of thumbs ups then, right? Get rid of everything. Get rid of you. Get rid of the whole every video on YouTube, as far as I'm concerned. Uh -oh. well, except except this one. Well, now the chat is disconnected for me, so I might have said the wrong thing. There you go. There you go, man. Actually, th th I th I think they might actually discontinue both of them. That that might actually happen because it it encourages that kind of behavior. What you're doing, which they don't like. What am I doing? So... Speaking my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was just reading an article. I was actually just reading. I was just reading about it. Uh, huh? I I get all man. I get I get these pop ups, all these comments, all day long. Dave Dave Chappelle? No, it wasn't the Chappelle. It was it was a different one, uh, opposite gender, well, a couple of years ago. Anyway, um, who's it? All Dave all night says, "Look at all the people here tonight." There we go. Yeah, yeah, we we got a lot of people here. Yeah, Janice, if you can if you can actually see that, and we probably shouldn't have brought it up. Um, it's it's across only certain people don't see it. It's it's like a small test that YouTube is doing right now. So some of you can see them, some of you can't. But you know, me being behind the scenes, I can, you know, see them behind the scenes. Oh. So uh what else? We're live here on YouTube, of course. And if you'd like to help support the channel, we got we got channel member channel memberships. Um, if you'd like to help while we're live during the actual show, we have, uh, super chats. Any super chat will change the color of my lights. So if you look behind me, the guitar noir, it's like a nice, like, like pink. And that's actually kind of purple ish. I, think. I like it. It kind of matches my jacket. That's kind of why I did it. This what? has like some, uh, yeah, it has like paint. There's like little paint. There's like paint uh there we go down there kind of oh, kind of goes with the, the 80s it, that's because it's your wife's jacket kind of theme no this was a gift from hulu actually this yeah was a... addressed to your wife i know yeah <laughs> no actually she ordered it for me she, she got it for me but no I don't it, know came, if... it came for her and you're like wow this fits me i actually did an unboxing on the channel here if you, if you go back i think it was a couple years maybe a couple two three years ago mm -hmm uh anyway awesome jacket very nice guitar noir 
right there. So if you'd like to help support the channel, support the shows in real time while we're live, any super chats will change those colors. And it's a lot of fun. It's a great time. So we're also live on Facebook, Johnny Bean TV Facebook page, where if you'd, li if you'd like to help support over there, we have what's called Facebook Stars, a digital gift that helps in the production of these shows. And we're actually live all over Facebook. We're live in the Van Halen 1974 to Forever Facebook group. We're live in the EVH Gear live Facebook group and Facebook page. We're live, uh, Johnny Bean TV Facebook group. Uh, my personal profile, where I'm like, I'm like at the limit of five thousand friends. So anytime I get unfriended, I notice because I, I actually know the number I'm at now. You know, so it's kind of, kind of cool, I guess. And we're live on Twitter at Johnny Bean, which is kind of a. Uh, an experiment that I'm doing just to see how that how that goes. Mm. So always always experimenting, always trying new things. We got thank you, Sharon Wild Dollar. We got Sharon Wild Dollar over on Facebook saying nice jacket. Yeah, I like it. Well, she's not talking to me, you can tell because you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I th I think it's cool. I don't watch the show it's actually from. Um what is it? What show is it from? It's the uh, Seinfeld <laughs> Handmaids. Hello, Johnny. H Han is it called Handmaid's Tale? Is that it? I have no idea. John Biel. He's not here. In the chat. Does anybody know the show I'm talking about? Anyway, that's where this jacket came from. It was a gift from from Hulu from the show. They only sent out like so like two thousand of them or something. So. Now, I don't watch the show, but I wear it. <laughs> right. Uh, let's see. What else? Take your pants. Oh, yeah. That's actually a uh, an album album title. That's a good one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, hey, who do we have? We got 64. 64. Six, well, 63. It's weird. <laughs> Stuff's not updating for me on YouTube here. <laughs> I, I think I've been banned. Uh-oh. No, I'm joking. I'm here. I'm back. I'm back. Let me just uh, fix this. Everybody in the chat, in the chat, uh, let's get a good question for people. What do you think, Johnny? Yeah. Um, are you ready for the Black Friday deals? Because they're coming in hot and heavy already. Is that next Friday? Next Friday is, yeah, is a week. Yeah, it's a week from week from tonight. But the deals have already, I've got a, already gotten a bunch of emails today, and I'm going to be taking advantage of one of them, probably uh -huh. after after tonight's show. Um, yeah. Cool. So. All right, I'm going to read a roll call here. How about that? Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of people here. All righty, so we got seven over eight. My name is first in the chat. Uh, all Dave, all night. Browns fan, Danham, New Jersey. David Ennis. Uh, James Stewart, Janice Lala, CJ Lawrence is here, um, Johnny Bean, Kurt5150, what's happening, man? Talked to Kurt on the phone today for a few minutes. Uh, Leo Safko, Mark FX, Music Therapy Laz, what's up, man? Nightbot, R2R3 Locking Nut, Stephen Franklin, Stevio 12 Snyder, Thomas Santiago, Thrash Metal and Fun Riffs, uh, Tim Thomas, Vistalite 1972, and everyone else who's just lurking, that's okay. Lurking's fine. Even though, we, you know, we love when people comment and, you know, tell us how great the show is and, uh, you know, all that stuff. Uh, the Chad is back. I see his name in, in there now. The Chad just got a new guitar. Maybe we could, uh, maybe maybe we can't show it off. I don't know. I don't know if we're allowed to show that one off that he just got. We got Rody's Jam Cave in here. Um... R2R3, I think I read his name already. And everybody else, Browns fan, everyone else, happy Friday. And uh, great to have everybody here tonight. Yes. Welcome, everybody. Mm -hmm. Welcome so much. 
Is, wait, is that is that a sentence? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, speaking of Black Friday deals, before we even get started here tonight, <clears throat> um, uh, Adam, maybe I'll uh, I'll shoot you a picture of uh, of it. I don't know. It's that's nothing like it's not like it's got big boobs on the guitar or something. Which would be everybody's awesome. asked. Everybody's asking now what it is. Well, is is he? You want me, you want me to show it? Chad, you want me to show it? <clears throat> well, if anybody out there uses um, like is is uh knows about the, like the neural DSP plugins and stuff like that, like the quad cortex now they have. Well, their guitar plugins, like their amp plugins, are in my opinion, the best out there. Mm -hmm. um, I use them. I think they sound phenomenal. And right now, um, they're, ha they're having 50% off all their plugins. So if you go to Neural DSP, I don't know the website, but just look it up. And I got to tell you, the, the, um, the Gojira one is phenomenal. Um, I have that one. Um, the Nolly one is great. That that mm -hmm. actually might be the most uh, diverse one. Like there's so many different amps and, and, you know, it's great. The Pliny one is great too, especially for lead tones, lead, lead and cleans. The Pliny one is phenomenal. And the uh, Soldano one, which has been a, uh, a recent favorite of mine, the SLO 100, it... <laughs> Oh, I, there you go, man. Yeah, dude. I had it on. I was like, how can you not want to play some uh, some Lynch stuff through that thing? But uh, it was great. It's some great. Lindy, Lindy Lynch? Lindy, <laughs> yeah, Lindy Lynch. There you go. Lindy, you, you have your, your own uh, a preset? <laughs> your own tone? <laughs> That's awesome. And hello, Leo, by the way. Hi, Leo. Uncle... Hi, Uncle Leo. Uncle Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, man. That's so funny. <laughs> like, Johnny, am I? Let's see. <clears throat> <laughs> let's see. I don't know if, uh, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure I can. Hey, I'm not going to get anybody in trouble. I didn't, I didn't build it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I gotta turn my <laughs> turn my green screen off. Hold on. Sorry, Jerry. Let me uh crap. <laughs> oh, where'd your apartment go? Oh yeah, I saw that on Facebook. Yeah. So what what's the deal with that guitar? <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, Chad. I hope you don't, hope you don't mind. I just showed that, <laughs> but um, he said it's great. So what was it? It has a name or something, right? Like oh or, or yeah, ghost. the yeah the ghost fifty one fifty or something. I I saw that. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. That's so that's pretty cool. cool. Pretty Everybody cool. says it looks good. Freaking awesome. R R two R three. Shout out. R2, dude, we still got to do something, man. Oh, there you go. Kind of neat. Kind of like, you know, how Caleb has the uh, the metallic 5150 that yeah. he did. Um, obviously, but just with the red red stripe, which kind of makes it pop. Oh, there he is. Yeah. I called it the Gray Ghost. There you go. Cool guitar, man. Yep, very right cool. On. Wow, it's new guitar. Well, when did he get that? A couple days ago? Yeah. I saw it on Facebook, I would say yesterday or the day before. Yeah, I think he got it uh Nothing. Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That's cool. Adam loves it. Brown's fan would 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 I'd rock that, he says. Yeah. C CJ Lawrence says I dig it. Look at this. Everybody, everybody's loving it. Everybody's loving it, man. You're selling your CHS fifty one fifty. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of new guitars, so I called Sweetwater um, about two hours ago, and um, I find out you know I have a, I have a guitar that that's pre ordered, and 
they don't know when they're coming in, to say the least. So I was just told that it's probably the end of December, maybe early January. Mm-hmm. But that's all right, you know. I can't really, you can't really complain right now, considering, you know, every guitar manufacturer. I mean, you know, our, our buddy Boner Jams, right? Yeah. He, he uh, I got him hooked up with that uh, Fender Jazz Master, the Jim Root Jazz Master. Um, that he received in August. He ordered it last, I think it took like nine or 10 months for him to get, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, he got it this August. Remember when he plugged it in and one of the pickups didn't work? Yeah. Remember? I remember that. So, you know, Guitar Sender is a fender repair for whatever the heck they call them. You know, they they'll, they handle, they'll handle their warranties if like they have a problem with the guitar. You bring it to them and if they can fix it, whatever. Mm -hmm. so obviously guitar center contacted fender fender told them okay we'll have a, a pickup sent out soon that was literally august so every couple of weeks brian would call be like hey what's you know what's going on and they'd be like we're still waiting we're still waiting we called them they still don't have it out yet so he received a phone call from guitar center earlier this week i think it was either i think it was tuesday <laughs> and uh <laughs> and they're like hey Fender just just <laughs> called us and said they're going to ship out a new guitar instead of a oh. new pickup. And I'm like, so unless there's an issue with getting the pickup from EMG directly or something. Yeah. But I mean, at the same time, you can't, you know, you're not going to argue like, hey, all right, I'll, new guitar instead of a new pickup in the, in the guitar. So does he have to send that old guitar back? Yeah. Well, well Guitar Center has that guitar. So, yeah, he's, they're going to have to ship it back. You know. Oh, I see. So, yeah, so yeah. he took the he left the guitar with them, and yes. then they're shipping it back. They're getting them brand new. Okay, oh, you're trying to already get them. <laughs> you little sneaky son I of a see. gun! Here. I see. Wait, well, hey, two two for one. Yeah, that, that that doesn't sound so bad. Well, hey, at at least he's getting his his problem fixed. I ordered guitar picks from from Sweetwater. We're going on nine months ago or something and nothing well didn't somebody call and mention somebody yeah somebody somebody uh called them and they were dealing with them with sweetwater and they happened to bring up my name and the deal with the guitar picks that i ordered which mm -hmm. actually i do have because pe people send them to me so i do have some the evh 5150 guitar picks but i ordered them from sweetwater the you don't day have the ones they that you ordered the day they announced, I ordered like two or three sets of these. Never, nothing. Nothing. Never a ship. Never, never nothing, right? But apparently, I who was it? Are you in the chat? Somebody was talking to them on the phone. Kevin Bethel. That Beth. was you? Kevin, Kevin. Bethel. That's right. Yeah, Kevin. Was Kevin. Yep. That was Kevin. Okay. <laughs> so Kevin messages me saying, hey, guess what? I was just talking to somebody from Sweetwater. And I, I brought up your name and, and that you ordered these guitar picks like a year ago. And they oh, would tell me. I ordered me, them on St. Swithin's Day and they're still not here. I think. Did I order them on April Fool's Day? That must have been when that was. Mm. Oh, he's joking. He doesn't want these. <laughs> <laughs> and so so anyway, yeah, never showed up. They have no idea. I, I get an email or a, a message every like couple years from them you know saying oh you know we don't know when we're gonna get them but you know they'll be here but they'll be here in a month yeah i get the weirdest messages from them never show up or whatever but anyway so kevin right kevin was telling me that he brought up my name saying uh, talking about the guitar picks and the rep that he was talking to knew me because he knew my dog that's right he that's knew right. my he knew yeah. howie from here from this channel right is that what you were saying which is really which is cool that is cool um i mean if that helps me get my guitar picks faster i mean that's that'd be great <laughs> it's very dude it's weird though because <laughs> out of out of every uh well alto music i've never had a problem with but i you know um obviously they're great um but Sweetwater, I've out of out of all like the massive chain, you know, the the chains, I guess not not chains. The, what am I talking about? The uh, 
out of like all the big, you know, the on the big online stores. Thank you, Craven Soda. Sweetwater is the one that I've never had any. If you have any problem with with anything, they're like super cool, and like they'll they'll make it right no matter what, you know. Uh -huh. um, so it's just weird that that they still they still haven't shipped those, man. I have no idea what's well, going on. What they did there. and they got lost and it got lost in the mail. No, because they've messaged me saying that that they they're not in stock. Oh. Like like they've never like they they promoted them when they first came out. Mm -hmm. But it's something like like they've never been they've never had them in stock. I don't think anybody who's who's ordered right? It's like really weird. It's I'll like order really some. I'll order a set of those on Monday and see, um, Monday. see if I get them before you. <laughs> you probably will. <laughs> you probably will. But anyway, yeah, people have sent me them. Like uh, Mike Neese, channel member. Mike Neese. Um, he, he sent me some of these. And the reason I ordered them, I ordered them the day they came out so I could get them and, and give them away, do a contest here on the channel. That's why I ordered them. But they never showed up. Um, so anyway, so I do have some, I do have some here, but, but yeah, it's just kind of, kind of weird. I mean, it makes mm -hmm. me, I mean, I, I know Sweetwater. I mean, I, I hear that they're great. Well, dude, they gotta be great considering how many guitars they've gotten back from me. Yeah. You know, and I was that comparison that I bought, I was, I was actually afraid. I was like, man, I'm going to be sending back another one. And I was just like, Hey, listen, you know, it's not like it's a bad guitar. It's just not, it's not for me. You know, it didn't, mm -hmm. didn't feel right in my hands, you know? And, um, I was expecting like, dude, <laughs> like, come on. They were like, all right, cool. No problem. You know, we'll just send it back. We'll send the shipping label, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, then I ordered another one. <laughs> uh, I just, I just saw a comment. Craig. Craig uh, Burrett, Bert, Bert et, Bert, Bert et? Craig. <laughs> yeah, Craig. They're made in the U.S. They're th these are made just basically down the street. That's the thing. These are made literally two hours from where I live. That's where Dunlop, the company, is. So Did you pick them up. So I could probably actually go over there. And actually, a friend of mine. We were actually going to do a tour of the factory, like a, like a couple of few years ago, and it never, it, we just never really did it. But I could, I mean, if if I went, I could go over there like this, I guess now, and 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 uh, maybe get some. I don't know. Where are my picks? <laughs> What's the deal with my <laughs> fifty one fifty picks? <laughs> <laughs> they look like Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered them a year ago, and they're still not here. <laughs> Kramer, Kramer, my picks. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's your Sweetwater rep's name? Mine. Yeah. No, who I, else I, am I, I talking to? I have no idea. Oh, if his name's Newman, that would be perfect. Hello, Newman. Yeah. Where are my picks? Hello, Johnny. Burr, how do you say your name? Bertit. 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 Oh, Bertit. 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 Craig Bertit. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, everybody's mad at Newman. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt, oh, Kurt said he ordered them the same time as you, and yeah. he, he hasn't gotten his either. Nobody has. That's the thing. Nobody has gotten them. I'm probably the only one who who's who's bitched about it. I mean, because I've got an internet program, <laughs> you know, and a podcast. If you were way. if you were like 80 years old, it would be an internet program. Internet program. Program that I do from the Davenport. Yeah, and after we get off here, we watch a little bit of Columbo, some Murder She Wrote, some Hollywood Squares, and then we're in bed. <laughs> Not together, everybody. Not together. By seven. That's if we stay up late. No, no guitar for you. <laughs> Craven's. Yeah. No guitar for you. I actually know that guy. 
the soup Nazi. He's actually a friend of mine. I've I've met him several times. The actor, the actor that played him. Uh, oh yeah, I watched a little interview with him like a week or so ago. I've been watching a lot of the blooper blooper clips, you know, from Seinfeld. God, so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and he had mentioned like he after the show, like from he like ref- would refuse to say that line until he got to, until he did the um <clears throat> the curb your enthusiasm uh Seinfeld reunion show and they brought like every character back for I that one that, yeah. for that one episode mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden he started doing like uh it really it really wasn't a reunion though it it really it really it, it kind of was but it, it wasn't an official one well if it was an official one it would have been Seinfeld <clears throat> mm-hmm or as my dad calls it, Seinfeld. Like that. <laughs> Seinfeld. Man, that was my favorite. We should just start a show called Talking Seinfeld. That was oh. that was my favorite show back in the day, man. I know every episode of that. So good. Uh, but Steve Carmichael says Johnny should send that pick that pack to Sweetwater to see if they fill his order. So if I return, yeah, what if I did return these to them? Just say. I wonder what what would happen. Well, I don't know. I don't understand why you just don't call. We're spending a lot of time on this, but why don't you just call them and ask them where are my picks? Yeah, I ordered them the day you guys got them. Announced yeah. them. Like I said, though, it's not like I need them. I mean, I it's but it's it's like the reason I ordered them was to have them to to give away on the channel here, like when they were brand new. Well, then you That's should call the Dunlop. You should email Dunlop or call them and say, hey, I want to do a giveaway on my channel. Send me some stuff. Give me a, mm-hmm. Send me a pedal. Send me some pics. That's what we should be doing here. Uh, Laz. Laz, you know Jimmy, right? Jimmy Dunlop? Yeah, they're literally just down. Maybe Laz and I. Maybe we can... Maybe, uh, Laz, next Thursday, let's, let's take a trip down to, down to Dunlop. <laughs> They're not. They're they're over in uh, 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 Vallejo or Benicia, just across the bridge. Junebug Films. No, not I, my opinion is no. Huh? Do you think the Patty Smith second choice would have been good in Van Halen? Uh. I mean, it it would have been interesting. Here we go. Now we're talking Van Halen. It yeah. would have it would have been interesting. It really would have been interesting to hear uh, any if there was any any music, anything recorded, because the, the only stuff we've if any of us as nerds Nerd. have heard, it's we've heard some live stuff. We've heard uh, some scandal songs that Eddie played live with the band. But it's not like he wrote those songs, so they're not official Van Halen songs. Mm-hmm. So it's not like Van Halen. So it definitely would would have been interesting to hear uh, a collaboration. Yeah, dude, I'm would, sure I'm sure they recorded something. I would have loved to to hear any any stuff that anybody ever did. You know, any any mm-hmm. name that ever popped up, whether it was when Dave left first time, when Sammy left, any names that were brought up, I would love to hear anything. Any of those people singing any Van Halen song. I mean, you know, yeah. inquiring minds, right? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. It would it would definitely definitely be cool. Uh, maybe in the future. Maybe we'll we'll hear some stuff. I mean, I remember uh when Sammy um in ninety six when Sammy was out, I remember hearing on the radio that one name that was floating around was David Coverdale. Um, I thought that would have been cool. Could have been cool. Maybe I should say instead of would have been, um, <clears throat> you know, mm-hmm. one name that, that I think personalities wouldn't have gelled, but I was, I've always been a, um, well, the first two skid row records, especially slave to the grind. The second record I think is one of the best vocal performances on any hard rock record. It's 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 right up there. It's top five, maybe, maybe even higher, in my opinion, of just like somebody that is just firing on all cylinders, 
the range that he gets, he goes from like guttural, like death metal growls all the mm -hmm. way to like, you know, these high screams that are just perfect. Um, and I would, I would love to hear that voice and that attitude that, that Sebastian Bach had, you know, with Van Halen. Cause th think of the, of the dynamic, right? Um, between the Sammy and, and the Dave eras, right? You needed somebody that had attitude and also somebody that could sing the ballad type, you know, love, I don't want to say love songs, but you know, why can't this be love and all that stuff, right? And I th I think Sebastian yeah. Bach is one of those guys that could have done it, you know? He got the I Remember You and stuff like that, like those type of songs that he could mm -hmm. sing stuff that like that. And is mm -hmm. and also he could sing the the attitude stuff, you know, all that kick ass, um, you know, Roth era material as well. Um, but I don't think the personalities, you know, maybe maybe wouldn't have uh have worked together, but who knows? They toured together. I saw <laughs> them, I saw them together in 93. Mm -hmm. There are pictures of them actually together, like from let me see if I can John BL, are you here? Um, actually, this is what I should, what I should be doing. You guys see, there's a phone number right above above Jay here, dude. Any, like any dude. anything. Sorry, huh? sorry. Continue what you're saying, but you got to put a you got to put a either a green screen strip of paint or something on that wall above your toaster oven, <clears throat> or hang like a hanker a green handkerchief or something. Oh, right and there. You, yeah, and you can put like you know <clears throat> something up there. Never mind. Go ahead. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or get a green couch. There you go. Sorry to cut you off. Go ahead. I'm pumped. Uh, no, my idea is you know, there's a phone number right there. So anything that we talk about on these shows, not just tonight, you know, but every every time that we're on, if there's anything we're talking about, and if you have any any info, if you'd like to help contribute, like let's say photos, like right now, I'm about to say there are photos of Van Halen and Skid Row together. If anybody watching this right now while we're live, if you have that, and if you want to text that to us, there is the phone number right there. Because I'm going to Google. I'm going to try to find. Let's see. Hey, Carol. My mother-in-law is in here. Hey, Carol. Hey, now. Hey. I'm going to try to find a, a, pit, a picture here, which I, I know I've seen. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything right here, but, uh, <laughs> but back at, back in the day with, with, um, metal edge magazine, you always, you always got that stuff. You know, it was a month, two months, three months late, you know? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, but you, you, you always got, you always got to see that stuff. I think, uh, her name was, uh, Jerry Miller, I think. Uh, she she ran Metal Edge magazine, and I remember back in '93 when when they were touring together, and you have all these shots of them backstage, you know, on not on stage together, but a lot of backstage stuff. Mm -hmm. It was always so cool to see to see a lot of that stuff. But uh, if anybody, if you, if you have like any any pictures, any photographs of anything that we we talk about here, feel free to text them. My phone sits right here in front of me. I mean, while we're while we're live, I've got my phone sitting here. It sits right there. So any texts that come in, I get them instantly. I see them. Mm -hmm. So anyway, there's the number right there. I don't, I don't see any pictures, but there, there there are pictures of Sebastian Bach with with Eddie. Actually, like like backstage when they were on. Oh wait, here it is. <laughs> I just found it. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden. That guy's wait a minute. Dude, he's like 6'6, six, six, man. Is this photoshopped? No, he's he's a big dude. Dude, you guys, you guys are gonna are gonna are gonna freak out when you see unless you've seen this. I don't think you've seen this picture. Look at this. This this is insane. <laughs> Look how huge he is. Like a cardboard cutout. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. That that is photoshopped. Whose arm is around Sebastian's? Is it? Is that photoshopped? Yeah. 
Okay, well, that, that, maybe, wait, okay. That, that Eddie's, maybe it's Eddie's arm around him. It's hard to tell. Well, I mean, like, the thing, the thing is that okay, that's balance. That's not the '93 tour when they toured together. That's balance. Yeah. Uh, did they open for Van Halen on balance? They they might have, for certain shows. But yeah, you guys, is this photoshopped? In the chat. <laughs> is he really that big? <laughs> <laughs> he's not just he's not just taller than them, but he's he's. <laughs> The land of the giants. <laughs> God, that dude, that's fake. The lighting, I mean, who knows? But that that's got to be fake, man. Uh, somebody, let's see. Oh, ba Bach is six three. I thought he was tall. Well, whatever. Um, maybe maybe he's not six six. Uh, Charlie S says, Jay, don't you think Bach was too progressive back in the day to fit Van Halen? Progressive meaning what? Like is. I'm just talking about oh his. I don't know. What, I don't. I don't, I don't think that's. Going on I don't. Anymore. I don't think that's photoshopped. His <laughs> Baz the devil. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's photoshopped. It might I, not. I be. think that's I what, Skid Real did open for them in '95. Yeah, I, I. I think I saw them in '95 with them. The '90. The '95 tour was really um, because of the whole uh, gun thing. There were shows that were that were screwed around and 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 oh I think there were opening acts that that just filled in like like when I saw them in Oakland when they finally played uh uh it was uh Tommy Shaw and Jack Blades played acoustic hmm. known as Shaw Blades and of course they did you know some of the damn Yankees you know Night Ranger uh sticks Mm -hmm. Thank you, Boner Jams. Johnny's rocking the ascot like a champion tonight. Love it. What the love hell is the ascot? Through. I don't. What? What? What is that, man? And thank you. I'm just talking about. I think Sebastian is one of those voices um, that could do anything in the, you know, rock to. I mean, even even other than rock, but rock to metal. He could have done all that stuff back then. And it uh again, not everybody can pull off the attitude, badass stuff, and the you know, the ballad stuff. And he could. Mm -hmm. But again, he was a handful person and still, obviously still is. Um so. Uh, the Chad says, Ascot is a necktie or scarf with broad ends, tied and arranged so that the ends are laid flat, one across the other, sometimes with a pin to secure them. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I mean, this, this is just one of these things. But I, I wear it all the time because, you, you know, the thing is, you, you know, you if I have to leave, like I might go out and get some, get dinner after this. Um. I don't have to think about, oh, where's a, a mask? Like, I, I just have it with me. And it's fashionable. Yeah, but you're putting, you're wearing something. I don't want to get into this, but you're, it's not clean. You're putting it, you're touching it. It's on your neck all day. You're putting it over. You're taking it off, putting it over, taking it off. You're basically like defeating the purpose, but whatever. We can get into that on, on a, <laughs> another show. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. So Boner Jam says, uh, I question my, <laughs> my sexuality at eight years old while I was looking at Sebastian Bach. I still question it at 40. Yeah, when I, I remember um, when I was in, what was it, fifth grade? I think it was fifth grade. And uh, a girl that I was friends with had the Skid Row's first, first tape, I'm going to call it, because it was a tape. It was a cassette. Yeah. And I thought it was a chick. I thought it was a chick on the cover of uh of that Skid Row album, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's why you bought it, or the or I, that's, that's, why, why, that's why I borrowed it. That's why. Oh, can I take that home? <laughs> but man, I th I th honestly think that um, what we call it, Slave to the Grind, is is just a not just vocals, like the whole album is just it's killer. And I've said this before, it is the heaviest album. That's not heavy metal. And I stand by that to this day. 
you can't get heavier than that without it being heavy metal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Leo Safko says, I thought the crew were all chicks, except for Mick Mars when Shout Out the Devil came out. Oh, remember we joked about the cover of uh, Poison's Look What the Cat Dragged In? Like, yeah. if you had to, who would it be? <laughs> if you had to choose one. I wouldn't. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. I'm not finding the picture I was thinking of. I used to have all those Metal Edge magazines. I, I had them all, and then I, I had to get rid of, like, everything. Um... Laz, there you are, man. Great to hang out with you yesterday, man. We actually did a show from from uh, uh, what is it? Green Pickle, Flying Pickle Productions, which is Laz's place. We did a show yesterday. We played acoustic guitar, acoustics, and then uh, I was on his show last night. So twice we did two shows yesterday. Um. And speaking of new guitars, he got he got a new guitar. I don't know if you saw it. He got a, a, a USA Gibson Les Paul. Whoa. For a really good deal from, from Guitar Center. Was it a um I don't want to say B stock or something, but was it like a was it used? No, was it, it brand was, new? It was used. <clears throat> okay. It was a used guitar. But, uh, and they gave him a deal on it because usually sweet uh, Sweetwater, usually Guitar Center doesn't, right? Don't they not give deals on used guitars or something? Well, they didn't. They didn't give him a deal. But, he took it. He took the deal. But it it um it was a good deal for what it was. For how much for how much they had it on the wall for? Well, what's all? Why are you being cryptic about this? Why can't we just come out and say it? They wanted X. He got it for Z or Y or whatever it is. <laughs> no, he paid them what they wanted, but but they wanted what they wanted was was really really good, okay. like below like what the thing actually goes for, I guess. And were you there with him when he when he bought it? Yeah. Did yeah, you that give was, him your? Uh, did you give him your? Uh, that was last approval? Monday. That was Monday. Like, no, I was complaining. <laughs> I, I was complaining about it because, because I didn't he, like because he wasn't getting it for you. That's why, right? No, because I I didn't like the sales guy that he was dealing with. I didn't. The guy's just a, a weirdo. It's and Guitar I, Center. He just had just this, this attitude, and and I'm just like, yeah, I don't know about this dude. And then he quoted. Uh, well, he didn't quote it. He, he might as well. He he told Laz. Laz is like, is there a hard case? And he's like, no, but we have him for 120. And then he goes and rings him up. Oh, that's 160. <laughs> what and i'm like dude he should give it for what he just told you what they're for and he just tripled the price or whatever you know and Lance is like oh it's cool he gave me a pack of strings i'm like that cost them a dollar you know so it's i don't know and then he wanted to make sure sorry Laz, i'm saying all this but and then and then he's telling the salesman he's like but hey make sure that the other guy gets the commission for this because the other guy had helped him earlier. And the guy's like, you bet. And I'm telling Laz, I'm like, he's not going to give that other guy the commission. There's no way. I, I would call up and make sure. Mm -hmm. I would call up. Does he know the other guy's uh, the other guy's name? Probably, yeah. I would call up and um, and say, hey, <laughs> is this uh, is this Kramer or Newman? <laughs> or the hell, Jerry? They're not going to let me in that, in that location anymore. Good. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, a used 2019 tribute satin cherry sunburst with flight case under twelve hundred dollars. So eleven ninety nine. Okay. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Cool you guitar though. Jerry? No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't play it. <clears throat> the flight cases are one ninety nine on sale. But remember, he told you like one twenty or something. He told you some price and then when because I was there and when he walked over, he was typing it up and then he's like, oh, no, they're, he either said 140 or 160. Well, here's and the I'm thing, th man. I mean, unless he's the manager or something, 
I mean, he really can't. No, he's not. Because Laz was telling me he knows the manager. Yeah, so, I, so I, I get it. Because if, if this guy all of a sudden rang him up at 120 for that case, and it was 160 or something. It sounded like this while he was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> or, or it was like. <laughs> That's the case sound of like. He's like, I'm closing the deal. <laughs> and then let me, let me, hold on, let me put something in that case for you before you close it. <laughs> so you open it up. Ah! Dude, I just, you just gave you. I just gave you a great deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if if. You know, if if he gave that case to him for like 120, I wouldn't be surprised if all of a sudden the manager was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Comes running you know, around. Why'd you mark this down? Now we're taking it out of your paycheck. You know, mm -hmm. wouldn't surprise me. Frankie or B, Leo Safko? Frankie. It's not even a, not even a choice for me. Easy. Uh-huh. Leo Safko. Let's, let's, oh, he's talking to R2, R3. Oh, that's right. Oh. Because because R two, R two, R three. Uh, I think he was in in the chat. When was that, man? Was that Sunday? For the Sunday night string change hour, he was saying he was going to be going to Guitar Center. He was going to be trading in an item. I want to say an amp or something for the Frankenstein. Yeah, because I I re I restrung the the evh stripe series frankie on sunday yeah so so uh uh r2 r3 lock you nut in the chat that's a screen name you guys if you're brand new he was saying that that he was going to get he was going to get get the, the frankie at guitar center but then i think he he was there and then he didn't he didn't get it but he might be getting a B. Maybe that's what he was saying. Oh. And then so that's what I'm I'm saying. And I'm still saying R2 R3. If if you go to Guitar Center and if you get a guitar or whatever, message me. No matter when it is, message me. We'll go, I'll send you a link. We'll go live and you, you can show it off. That'd, that'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. I can't get enough of Guitar Center. I'm always there. <laughs> They're watching <clears throat> Killian and, and Jeannie are watching the show down there. He's pumped at me on the screen. Oh, That's he talks funny. now. Wow. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, he's getting there. Yeah. I, had, I had to watch that. Um, Cameron Brown is here. What's up? Hey, now. Cameron Brown. Hey, dude. Yeah, R2R3. Yeah. Yeah, whenever that is. Doesn't matter wherever wherever I am. Message me. Say, hey Johnny, I'm at Guitar Center. I'm getting a new guitar. I want to show it show it off. I'll send you a link. We'll jump on. We'll go live, and and uh, and we'll all enjoy it. <laughs> well, <laughs> huh? What was that? So. Uh, yeah, and yeah, if, if 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 anybody else wants to know, yeah, Frankie, yeah, I like the Frankie, the Frank, the Frankenstein is awesome. Yeah, I know, I know our buddy Caleb okay, from Nerd Halen. <laughs> um, he loves the uh, the B, um, and obviously, you know, maybe we could get back into this mm -hmm. tomorrow night. It's been a while since we've kind of argued about you know our favorite Eddie Van Halen <laughs> guitar. Um, but my thing kind of is oh. Oh, I'm just gonna say if if you're getting technical with it, Kramer fifty one fifty. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying that's, if I had to choose that's, like that, I think the Bumblebee might be maybe third. I guess you know, I don't know, whatever. But just knowing from the interviews that Eddie said, like he could never get that guitar to sound good or right, whatever. That kind of for me is enough to say, all right, well, he didn't really like how that guitar sounded, so uh, you know. That's it. Oh, the Bumblebee, yeah. yeah. But the 5150 is and always will be my favorite guitar of all time. Um, 
you know. I mean, we've we've said it a million times, Same dude. Here. Like the live without a net is just um, you know, it's it's probably the greatest live video ever. Live music video, music video, live concert video ever. That and um the Seattle uh, Metallica Justice Tour um, video. Those two, man. I want, I can watch, if those two were on back, if I had those on one day by day and they were like back to back. And I, I can't even repeat, play DVDs here. I don't have it. No, neither player. do I. I know, neither do I. Um, but those two, man, I could watch them all the time. And it's like watching the first time again, you know? Uh huh. They're so good. The energy on 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 stage on both those shows were just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. New Halen. Hey Johnny. Uh, uh -huh. Speaking of New Halen, uh, do you want to talk about um, our buddy Steve Nowicki mentioning uh, EVH Con on the Howard Stern? Show? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was very cool. I I watched it. Um, well, the, I saw the clip. I mean, obviously, it, it was on the radio. Uh, well, not the radio. Uh, Sirius, Sirius, Sirius. Sirius yeah. Um, it was on there. Uh, what Wednesday? Maybe Wednesday morning or Tuesday or I, I, I don't even have. Was, it. Uh, I think I it was know. Wednesday. I think that was it was on it was on Wednesday, right? Maybe yeah. I don't even have. I don't. The subscription ran out in in my car. I would love to have the the, the thing is though if if I had access to to that to to the uh, satellite radio, mm -hmm. I'd be sitting out in the car right now listening to Howard Stern. <laughs> I would never turn it off. Well, you could you have they have an <laughs> app so you can listen on your phone. I know, I know, but yeah, I'd always I would always be listening because when I had it when we got the the brand new car, well. It's, going back to 2015 now mm -hmm. it came with with that for like yeah. a month or whatever and all i did was listen to one how it one 100 and 101 that's all i had it on all the time and then i think when something happened last year that kind of made us wear these scars all the time i remember uh they, they they had an app where they had they gave people like free access to it for a while yeah for like a month or something i had it then too but but no with howard stern just really quickly no i'm i've been a huge fan i mean for since 1992 i mean it goes back a long time uh but <laughs> but anyway yeah yeah that was cool i i, I listened i heard the clip or no i saw it you could yeah. actually see that there's the video yeah kurt kurt sent me the link um, i think it was um late I guess it would have been late Wednesday night slash early Thursday, more like, I don't know, 1230 or something, maybe he sent it to me. Mm -hmm. And um, it's funny because I, I had, uh, I messaged um, uh, Steve Nowicki, uh, was it la yesterday? I think la last night. And obviously I congratulate him on his engagement. He got engaged or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that, hey, I saw the clip. You know, you mentioning EVH Con on the show, like how awesome is that? And then I was joking. I was like, "Watch the fact that you mentioned it on the Stern show. Next year, they're going to have to move it from the music store, uh, Greenwich Greenwich Music, all the way up to uh, to um, what you call it, to New Haven, Connecticut. You know, <laughs> you do. You never know. Like all of a sudden, like how many you know millions and millions of of listeners." And now all of a sudden they're like EVH con, what is that? So that you're gonna see a lot of people all of a sudden interested. You know, like, like it's like it's it's it yeah. Maybe. <clears throat> I I think I think you could. You know, although uh Janice and, and Lenny Lou will still be the only chicks there. <laughs> yeah. hey, as long as one of them wears a Gizmachi shirt, right? <laughs> Uh, speaking of Janice, there you are. I see you in the chat. I see you. Uh, oh, where is it? 
if the subscription runs out, do you still have a radio to use? Yes. Yeah, it's just an extra. It's an extra button in in the uh, in the car. Yeah, you have CD. You have ra regular radio, AM, FM, auxiliary, auxiliary. I've got the the. Where I can plug in my iPod uh, uh, Classic. <laughs> it has like everything on it, and then it has the XM. Where if the subscription runs out, you can still listen to those channels. It just basically plays like commercials advertising the service. I think it does play music, but they talk. I think they talk over it though. I don't know. On ours, we have the same thing. It's got the button for it, and I think it just mm -hmm. it plays one channel, and it's it's literally like a loop of a. Um, Maybe it's just the same song. Yeah, or same song, or same like basically. Son of a gun, you son of a you know. I think it's probably the same but. thing. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know, but. But yeah, I I love Howard Stern. I, I I've always been a huge like, dude. I was I was talking to Caleb earlier, and I was like, how cool would it be if like, you know, if all of a sudden like they sent a camera crew or something? If Stern sent a camera crew with Steve next year or something to EVHCon, you know, like how awesome mm -hmm. would that be? We'd have to go. Oh, dude, you kidding me? I think Laz, Music Therapy Laz, is saying he's going to drive his van <laughs> across the country, van? which actually sounds like a nightmare. But that actually does sound, I mean, he says, he, we were talking about this yesterday. He, music Therapy Laz, because, you know, we hung out yesterday a couple times. We actually had lunch. We had lunch yesterday as well. He was saying he's going to drive his van, maybe drive his van uh, cross country to next year's EVH Con. What do you think oh, gas he, prices will be by then? Yeah. He said he's the only one driving. So actually, if he's the only one driving, that doesn't sound so bad to me. If, if I was to go, if well, I was to deal, ride along with now, him. Now, from, from where I'm from, the deal is if you're taking somebody else's car and they're driving, everybody that's along for the ride pays for gas. That's that's the rules. That That's how it's got to be. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, but it sounds like if, the, if that, do, if, if that happens, I mean, first of all, riding in a van across to the other end of the country, to me, it just sounds like a nightmare, yeah. but because, you know, I've got my own brand here at Johnny Bean TV, we could actually, we could make it, we could do shows from on the road. We could be live from wherever we are from the flying J. So from the flying Jays, so it would be, it wouldn't just be like we would drive all the way over there and then get there and show you stuff. We'd be showing you stuff the entire ride there and the entire ride back. You have the lot lizards late at night. So the, it's uh... a lot. <laughs> it, it's a lot of content. So that makes me think, well, that actually sounds pretty good. I, I'm actually more excited to do that. <laughs> yeah. So. So music therapy lads, we'll we'll talk about this. We'll see if if that's possibly something. Well, maybe we can. Uh, the more the cheaper. You know, maybe you know one of us uh, can get in the ear of uh, of Steve and say, "Hey, you know, let's uh, <laughs> get Howard, get Howard on board, man. You know, tell him to send you mm -hmm. there. That'd be awesome." Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That would be cool. And hey, let me just say thank you. Let me see. I just I found the video. Here's here's the video right here from the video we're talking about. I just I just want to say they thank you. There it is. Okay. I told you guys, I see you guys in the comments. Yes. And I, I want to say thank you so much. Majestic PB. Wait, what did you write? Go back up. Oh. Majestic. Those guitars are actually really awesome. The 50 replica is super legit. Dude knows what he's doing. Just ask the guys on Johnny Bean TV. Hey, let's see the reply. Well, who replied to it? I replied. Oh. So it's probably me. <laughs> yeah, it's me. Yep, super cool. <laughs> <laughs> 
go back go back to the top did you because you commented what what was your comment super cool I, I i love to comment did you see me oh there i am i saw your name on the top there there i am right there oh there you go yeah awesome awesome steve we had kurt from 50 there on assignment <laughs> <laughs> he was actually the only one that volunteered to do it yeah I know. Uh, although i think janice i think janice was actually saying that that she would have done it if, if she would have uh if, if she would have been able to, she would have helped as well. Thank you so much. Actually, Janice did actually upload footage from a f couple few years ago to her channel on YouTube and, and put, I remember she tagged us in it. So thank you again so much, Janice. And so, yeah, so I'm basically saying, yeah, maybe I'll see you guys there next year. You know, via the Franken van. Maybe. Oh. Maybe. I mean... Yeah. It sounds pretty pretty cool. How long of a drive is it? We did it. We did a drive from um, New York to California, um, <laughs> I, but I forget how long of a drive it was. Does anybody know offhand? John Biel probably doesn't. I don't think John Biel is here. No, I know that's what. Yeah. <clears throat> that's right, Laz. I, well, Laz, how, how long is that drive? I'm sure you've I'm sure you you've you've done done the calculations. Oh, anybody? What's has anybody up? has anybody driven from from uh, California to to we'll say New York? Because I, I would think if 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 we were to go that far, we would we would end up going to to New York as well. Let's see. Let's I mean, put in not? a direction. I mean, it's there. Oh wait, Lindy Lynch is saying she she uh, <clears throat> did that in two point five days. Oh, is that Let's it? See. How many hours a day did you drive, though? Santa Cruz, I think, California. I would think all day. To what? Where is the? Uh... Well, the thing is, what what uh, what Laz was saying is is we would possibly okay. If you tone, Adam is saying three days, three day drive if you go if you go hard. So, so yeah, if you if you get up in the morning early, drive the entire day. You could you could do it in, in three. Which is doesn't that, sound bad unless you're the one driving. <laughs> is, okay, that's is that it? Yeah, is it would be all day. Is Greenwich music on uh, East Putnam Avenue? Yes. Yeah, can I okay? So right now it's saying um Jesus. 40, 46 hours. It's like three thousand miles. Damn. Yeah, that's like two days, three days, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so if Laz is the only one driving you guys, yeah, no fun stops. Then it's gonna take it's gonna take an extra like you know, yeah that that'll suck if if you guys have to like stop, you know. No, the only stops will be uh, to to the restroom, which which. Uh... No, dude, what are you gonna have them have them drive forty six hours straight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He wants to get there. Drive all day. <laughs> there you go. Drive all day party. All day. God. I've taken I've taken the, the 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 Mayfire van from from L.A. to to San Francisco with some headaches, man. That was awful. <laughs> and that's just six hours. Well. I, I told I'll, I'll make this a quick story, but remember I told you when when we did the uh, whatever that <laughs> no bay, yeah, Mountain Dew. No, you got to use the Gatorade. You got to use the Gatorade bottles because they have the wide mouth. I got to go get my Gatorade bottle real quick. Um. Oh, Cameron just messaged me. He's about twenty minutes back on the show. Uh oh. I'll be right. I'll be right back. Okay. Right. Um. No, when we did um back in o back in 05, we did um like a two week European tour, and when we flew into Heathrow Airport, our first show was in Italy, and that's like a twenty four hour drive, and obviously from America we drive on the right side of the road, in Europe they drive on the left side of the road, so our tour manager was also our driver. Um, so when we got there, our show, I think, I think our show was in 27 hours and it was a 24 hour trip, something like that. 
this dude, his name was Michael. He was a cool guy. He had to drive the whole way. And literally, we couldn't stop to, like, sleep overnight or anything like that. So this dude, I mean, I remember, like, 17 hours into the trip, he was just, like, on the steering wheel just, like, with his eyes just, like, just, like, you know, bloodshot and just, like, oh, my God, I'm, I'm going to die, you know? And it, it was scary, you know, to have somebody driving all that way without sleep. And then, you know, when you're sitting in the, it was like a, one of those sprinter vans and it was like 90 degree seats, you know, so it wasn't, nobody could lay down in the van. Everybody was sitting upright, like straight up. Uh, and I remember like one of the first intersections we went through and it wasn't even an intersection. It was like one of those five way uh, intersections, whatever the hell you want to call them. And I just mm -hmm. remember sitting there and looking out the windows and you're, you know, again, you're on the wrong side of the, or the, the other side of the road. And when you're going through these lanes and stuff and these whatever, I it looked like cars were going to hit us, you know, because everybody's on the wrong side of the road. And it was scary. I remember driving through like, oh, my God, you know, like grabbing the seat, you know, like we're going to die. My God. Scary stuff. But I felt yeah. bad for him, man. Imagine dri having to drive like 24 hours straight. Laz said, well, are, are, are we still, still talking about that? Laz said he's the only one driving his van. He said he's the only one driving. Well, then he's got to drive us straight through. And again, when this when we got there at this show. Hey, Robot. He was also, the, like I said, he was also our tour manager. So he couldn't like, okay, guys, we're here. I'm going to sleep. No, he had to get out. He had to set everything up. You know, it was, I felt so bad for him. You know? <laughs> but we couldn't drive. That's the thing. Try going from all your life driving on the right side of the road to driving on the left side of the road when everybody else it's 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 a, it's crazy. oh man okay so you're talking about another country okay yeah yeah yep wow hey all the tours I did with with the Mayfire well every tour I've ever done with whatever band any any cross country or or whatever I never drove i i never drove any van well actually no i i drove from i did drive from la back home went to, i did take the van here and and actually kept it at my at my place for a little bit mm -hmm. uh, at one point what was the reason you didn't drive did you guys have a driver or nobody wanted you to drive because you drove like crap no we 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 uh uh within uh in the mayfire that was a band that i was in years ago we did a lot of touring the drummer drove and the bass player drove they we, they switched in between in between them they they wanted to drive they 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 wanted to do it oh okay now did they want to do it because you guys couldn't because i know that in our band the other guitarist, no, no. the other guitarist mike was a terrible driver and nobody wanted him to drive <clears throat> No, I mean, because I would every time, every rehearsal, every whatever, I mean, I would drive myself. I drive every day. <laughs> mm. So, no, it's not it's not that they didn't want me to drive. It's it's just they, they wanted to to do it. Hey, if you want to drive, you drive. Go ahead. You know, and <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll just sleep in the back. Mm hmm. Um. But yeah, this this sounds pretty interesting. If if this does happen next year with the EVH Con and with the Music Therapy Laz and possibly myself and possibly uh, somebody else, I don't know. Or some maybe some a group of people should start discussing maybe doing, you know, I'm, I didn't Zim's or didn't Dane from uh, Zim's Guitars mention possibly doing or do, did we invite EVH Con to happen at his place? Is that, is that what happened? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know, but somebody, somebody, somebody did, uh, contact me some years back when, 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 uh, Greenwich, Greenwich, when Greenwich, I, Greenwich, Greenwich, when, when they started EVH con originally, because we, we, anybody that's been around this channel, we, we were there from the beginning. We, we covered, like we were, we had people there at each one. Mm hmm um so if you look at if you search evh con on youtube it's all mostly footage from here um when they started that i remember 
it was either right after their first one or before it or something. Some other people from L.A. contacted me saying they were going to start an L.A. EVH con style thing and they wanted me involved with it. Mm -hmm. But they just after that, after we, I talked to them on the phone. I think it was it was a tribute. I think it was a Van Halen tribute band, actually. I can't I can't tell you which one it was because I don't remember, but I'm thinking it was like the singer from some Van Halen tribute from L.A. saying that they they wanted to start some sort of they wanted to do some sort of EVH con and possibly do it in Pasadena or something. I think there was a, a music store or something already. And and they, they wanted to do that. And they contacted me. They wanted me to, to either be there or help or, you know. Um, but then after that, I, I never heard from them again. So it just never, I don't know. I don't know. But then, yeah, yeah, we've, uh, you know, I think we've talked about it. Others around here have talked about maybe, you know, if, if there was some sort of something out here, that would be cool. And as far as friends that have stores, yeah, of uh, uh Zim's Guitars has as a as a shop in Phoenix or Mesa. I think it's the same thing, right? He has he has a shop and he's a he's a huge Van Halen fan. I mean, on his live streams when he's on here on Tuesdays, you see a Frankenstein style guitar behind him. Mm -hmm. So he he would definitely, ha you know, hold some sort of something there. And I would love to visit his store. I would love to be there, even though people tell me it's a thousand degrees outside. That's why no one's, you know, that's why there's no one outside. I would love to, I would love oh. to, to visit that place though. And <clears throat> there we go. And Kurt 50, I would help plan that with Dane. So we got Kurt. Kurt is here. I mean, he's, you're not, he's not too far from me. I mean, not really. So we're kind of somewhat in the same area. So I could definitely see us you know, starting, you know, some or, or going to something or helping out, you know, and then, sure. and then Adam. Yeah. There you go. Saying Joe Suma does a great job hosting EVH con. It would be awesome if all of our West coast friends came out next year. Okay. We're, th we're thinking about it. We're, th we're thinking about it, man. Music therapy last here. He's, he has a, a van. He's going to stripe up and drive out. <laughs> And so I'll have to I'll have to touch up on my uh, Mean Street intro if I'm going to come go to something like that. <laughs> it's my that's my one I'm I'm a one trick pony with uh, the Van Halen stuff, mm -hmm. but it's a good pony. Mm -hmm. so I, I will say, <laughs> yeah, I'd get up, I'd get up and play some stuff. Get up, <laughs> <laughs> get up. Yeah, it, it'd be great. Yeah, road trip. That's right, man. Either way, either way, well, yeah, a lot of this sounds fun. We'll do, you know, you never know. <laughs> yeah, boner jams. We'll we'll go and play tattoo. All right, that, that's like I'll I'll go outside and uh, for that one, or I'll sing it and it'll be instrumental and then it'll be a, a good song. It would be great to have uh, us all in one place instead of two cons. Oh yeah, if, cons. If you're so either way sounds like a lot of fun and you know it's like i think i mean we've i mean you and i we've talked about this because i i think out of out of most of our group here on johnny green tv we're the only two that have really like toured you know toward the country as far as being in bands and and, and all that yeah I think so, so so I love doing that stuff. And I think maybe with, with if Laz wants to drive out, um, you know, that I would maybe definitely be, be in for that. But like I'm saying, too, it's not like we would just head down there and then you would get footage from there all of a sudden. You would get footage the entire way. So it, to me, I'm thinking, oh, that that sounds like a lot of great content. Just you got to put a camera, like mount a camera in the in the well, back corner or the front corner, like almost because, like the silent witness in the school buses. Have one yeah. of those in the front, the whole but, see, way, man. Just have well, a live see, stream. Well, yeah, there's channels that do that. They call them RV RV trips. 
and like and fake act- taxi and uh what's the uh <laughs> what's the one something bus i don't know b-a-n something uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> never- i don't know but I don't know, but that. there there are actually RV trips that people take, and then and then they actually they're live from the RV, like from point A to point, like just whenever. <clears throat> and and this sounds like this this could could possibly that type be that type of thing, which to me sounds really exciting. Wait, Christopher Lefsella says, uh, "You pansies! I drove a 40, <laughs> 40 inch, forty inch FedEx box, <laughs> forty inch. What do you? What is this? Uh, what you call it? Spinal Tap." 40 foot FedEx box truck from Poughkeepsie, New York to Junior Seau, Alaska, 4,092. Jesus. Imagine that. Um, so, <laughs> Poughkeepsie, New York. So, you're familiar with the chance, right? That's our old stomping grounds. I hate saying that. It sounds so weird. <clears throat> huh? You know what's oh. funny? You, you talk about touring and how you love, you know, driving and going on road trips. Touring made me never want to leave my house again. Like I get home from a tour and I I never wanted to leave again. I'm the opposite. I never wanted the tours. I never wanted this. Never wanted it to stop. And this I didn't is back to stop either. But once I got home, I'm talking about like like for touring. Yeah, I'd, I'd want to go. But I'm talking about like you get home from a tour. I'd want to stay in my house or close to home instead mm-hmm. of like, hey dude, let's go. Uh, let's go something something today i'm like oh god i don't want to drive anywhere i just want to you know yeah that make any sense yeah yeah anyway i, I just saw something f you tone is saying side trip to the f you tone funplex after party that sounds like oh, a hell lot of yeah fun. now now That's i gotta go that'll happen eventually for me anyway it would be awesome, awesome to to be there. But yeah, this 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 sounds like this, this could be cool. This could be really cool. A year, it'd be roughly a year from now. So, or who knows? Maybe next week. <laughs> right, lads? Let's just go. Let's get in the car. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this could be awesome. uh where are we wow look at this smash that thumbs up you guys i see 42 of these that's it come on everybody get with the program we we got 89 people watching we got uh i'm getting visitors on my website from austin texas right now awesome every every time somebody goes to my website i get an alert that's got to be annoying oh no i i my phone goes off Nonstop. Kurt and I, huh? Born too late. Kurt, I was born too late. How rude, huh? What's going on? <laughs> Kurt, uh, no, she because Jeannie was born in '83, so I guess she's saying that she was born too late for some band, maybe or something. I don't know. <clears throat> well, Janice was born too early, and yes, that definitely explains my motive. Yes. Get it? Never mind. Wow. Anyway, we'll move on now. <laughs> Do you want to set up a guest spot with Paul Gilbert? Yeah. Well, I don't hear talk. You're, you're talking to us. Hopefully, you're awesome, talking to us. we had uh, Billy Sheehan on a couple years ago, and it was outstanding. Where, where's the picture? It always gives oh. me a, a good a good chance to to show this selfie. That that's the basically the dream selfie to a lot of shredders right there. You know. That's that's like pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Damn cool. <laughs> but hey, Sharon, yeah. Do you want to set up a guest spot with Paul Gilbert? If you're talking to us, if if you uh if you're if you're his neighbor, yeah. Bring him on, bring him up, bring him over. Yeah, because be um, awesome. Billy Billy Sheen, that was that was one of my favorite shows, man. Interview shows, you know, like, you know, so when we do some of those, uh, sometimes Johnny, you know, you ask these guys questions and you're like, man, are they, 
you know, do they think right now, like, oh my God, I just want to get out of here. Enough of these questions. But Billy was like, hey, what else you got? What other questions you got? Come on, guys. Keep, keep, keep them coming. Keep them coming. And he stayed, he stayed, I think, like two and a half hours, right? Almost three. It was, yeah, it was a while. Yeah. It was awesome. And there, there it, is. it is. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I, I triggered Nightbot. If you guys haven't seen it, yeah, we had Billy Sheehan on here. It was a while back. Yeah, a couple yeah. years. It was over a year. No, it wasn't. It was, dude. Okay. It was easily over a year. Okay. Yep, the Kirk Winstein one was awesome too. He was he was an awesome guy. Um he was yeah, cool. Man. Yep. He was cool. But hey, if you guys want to see more guests on here, get, you know, message them on social media or tag them. Ta you know, and you can tag me, you can tag Jay on Twitter. Say hey, uh hey now. Uh I don't know, somebody Hey, we we want to see you guys on on uh, on Johnny Bean TV. Send people our way. We would gladly, gladly, you know. I'm I'm we'll 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 talk to you know. I was gonna say we're talk we'll talk to anybody that makes us sound well. That's uh, obvious because I'm here, so you'll you'll talk. To <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'll yeah, definitely. I mean, don't don't feel like oh, you know why you know. No, mess, you know, spread. If you guys, if you're sitting here, if you like this show, you know, first of all, you know, make sure you subscribe to this channel, smash that thumbs up and, and message or, or tag your favorite, you know, rockers on, on Twitter, on Facebook, on yeah. Instagram tag. At, I'm at Johnny Bean just everywhere there is. So you can always just put an at sign Johnny Bean and I'll always get the alert for that. Gary Busey. Yep. Get Gary, get Gary Busey on here. That would be awesome. I'm fine with that. The Chad said the best was when you asked uh, Billy Sheen to play the beginning of To Had Enough. Love that tune. Hell yeah, man. That first Mr. Big album, even the second one is great, but that first Mr. Big album, man, just amazing. Really is. I, I had those, yeah. Yep. I had them on tape. <laughs> cassette. I, you had, had them, them on, on cassette. cassette. I had them on cassettes. Well, yeah. uh, Eduardo Marino Porto says, try Wolfgang. Hey, we've been, you know, people have tagged Wolfgang and, um, you know, try to get him on, but we'll see. Hope maybe one day, because that would be super, super cool to get him on here. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. so. But yeah, like I'm saying, though, you know, you guys. OK, here's your assignment. We got 85 people in here. <clears throat> if you're on Twitter. If you're on Facebook, if you're on Instagram, tag some of these people say, Hey, we would love to see you on our favorite show. <laughs> I mean, I'm just telling you what to say. It's probably not, but we would love to see you on, on, you know, you know, and I, some, some, uh, artists, they won't do YouTube shows. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cause I've, I've contacted some people and, and they're like, Oh, sorry, they don't do YouTube. Like it's, Oh, that's like, nobody watches that crap. Right. So, you know, instead of saying a YouTube show, say, hey, I have a friend that does a podcast. That's the, See, that's why, Jay, I'm always saying podcast, because that is the biggest thing in the world right now is podcasting. Mm -hmm. e each one of these shows become a podcast later on. So if you guys want to tag Wolfgang, if you want to tag Paul Gilbert, if you want to tag Gary Busey, say, hey, I would love to hear you on my favorite podcast and put Johnny Bean, johnnybean.com. TV, you know. I wonder if that's changed though. Now, I mean, how can? I mean, for the a lot of people, I think Johnny, you're the same way now as as I am. We don't watch TV; we watch YouTube. You know, I think I think this is becoming, or it has become, um, the normal thing. So why it's... wouldn't why wouldn't an artist or a musician or whoever? want to do maybe it's because it's it's like live live you know and some no. people might might feel like oh if i say the wrong thing it's on there man no i've said the thought... wrong thing a few times on here <laughs> <laughs> yeah um no it's, it's not because of the live thing and and also the thing is it doesn't have to be live if, no. if wolfgang van halen if 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 he wants you know we would love to have him on here but it wouldn't have to be live 
we could just set it up or even just five minutes yeah. have you know jump into a private call with jay and i we'll ask him some questions we'll have a great time we'll upload it yeah. you know that's it that's it's easy it's very simple you know so it doesn't have to be live and yeah it, so that's that's not the thing i don't think why why youtube i think some um I don't know. Although you do remember when when we had uh, uh, Chris Gill and Brad Talinsky on here, mm -hmm. they reached out to me, and it, it ruffled some feathers and within the community here. Oh, you don't say. Some, some of you guys know. Yeah, but no, they reached out to me, and 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 they they oh, Nightbot, thank you. <laughs> 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 I actually did three shows with those guys. I did a YouTube show with them. Jay and I did a YouTube show. I did an Amazon live show with them. And then I did an Instagram live with them as well. But, but no, no, they, what they were telling me, what, what Brad and, and Chris were, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Sorry, you sorry. Go. I just saw that and I was like, wait a minute. Look at this. The Steve, new, uh... I, I got your new signature <laughs> guitar here, man. <laughs> Look at this. It's the new see-through. What? It, uh, yeah. What? It, what is it? Uh, Lucite, right? I, I don't know. Lucite. How cool that, is that? That does look like. That's cool. Oh, now it's yeah. normal. Oh, look at that. Uh, all right. Sorry, there you go. go. Eduardo Moreno Porto. Yeah, Andy. Yeah, we had Andy Timmons on here. Billy Sheehan. Billy Sheehan was on. We've had people on here. It's not like we just started doing this uh, two weeks ago. I mean, I feel like I started doing it two weeks ago. Dude, I'm over four years on the, on this channel. I can't believe it. Man. I don't even want to think about about how long I've been. Well, I, the thing is, I it's it's just it's it's nonstop. It's it's all the time. I'll be right back. OK, as, as you would say, what do you say? I have to use the room. Well, I just say, oh, I got to refill my cup. Oh, I got to uh, refill the as toilet. In, as in cup, I mean toilet bowl. But uh, no, I I think uh, what are we saying? No, YouTube is is nor is is the new normal, and and yeah, as as Brad and and Chris, they 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 told me they're they're like, hey, you know, we you know, yes, we're we're doing the major stuff you know the the major guitar sites the major uh major major shows but also we want to reach the fans we want to reach the hardcore people which includes this channel here so that's that's why that's one of the reasons you saw them on here and they were great the book is amazing again if you guys haven't seen it eruption conversation conversations with Eddie van halen I actually I have the book. It's it's uh it's up on my uh, my sh bookshelf. But if if you guys are yeah, Ed. I know who Gary Hoey is. Yeah. Like I was as I was saying, yeah. If you guys, you know, all these guys are on uh, social media now. They're all on Twitter. They're all on you uh Facebook. They're all on uh Instagram. Tag them, send them tweets. Say, "Hey, we, Gary, I would love to see you on on the Johnny Bean TV." And you can say YouTube. I would say podcast. I think that's that kind of sounds more 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 serious in a way to some to some people. They might some people they they might consider doing a podcast first than doing a YouTube show. That that's that's what I would think. And. You know, obviously we can do a pre-recorded one or um, we can do just an audio one as well and just Thank upload you, the audio, you know, and just have kind of like a, just a backdrop or something on here. It was that yeah. we don't have to do like a video interview if the person doesn't want to. No. There's always that option too. <laughs> no, no, but, 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 um. Definitely. If if you guys, anybody, if you, anybody that's watching this, if if you would like, if you'd like to help, if you would like to help us because it's not like I just sit here and play Grand Theft Auto all day. <laughs> that's that's at night. But no, I reach out to people all the time. You know, sometimes I hear back from people, sometimes I don't. 
whatever. I've had I've had to bump pretty cool rock stars in the past. You know, so I, there are, are there actually are some people that I should re uh, reach out to that would re would probably re reach out to <laughs> re, re, re reach out to that you you might see on here. I've, I have their contact info. I've got their email. I'm not going to say who, but there there are some pretty big big names in the guitar world community that you guys would would love to see. So uh, we'll we'll try to make some of this stuff happen. But if you guys, what I'm saying though, if you guys want to help, tag Gary Bu. Well, we're just using Gary Busey as an. Uh, although I would love to have, I would have, I would take anybody on here, hey. not just whoever. Well, yeah, just whoever. Yeah, like anybody, anybody you guys want want to see on the channel here, whoever it is. I know currently, right now, we're doing a Van Halen show, but but this channel, I mean, we love Van Halen. I mean, that's number one to us but it's that's you know i'm I'm looking i want to i want to talk you know have everything on here a lot of different stuff if you want to see paul gilbert if you want to see gary Busey, if you want to see uh uh gary hoey met at you know mention them on twitter mention them on facebook mention them on instagram Say, hey, I'd like to I'd like to see you on the Johnny Bean show. I would like to see you on Johnny Bean TV. I would like to, you know, he does a podcast. You know, send send a link to the channel. Tag me in these in these messages at Johnny Bean, wherever you are. Like I said, I, I'm everywhere. So I, I get the uh he's everywhere, folks. He's everywhere. I get hey, the alerts. Do we uh we got a we got a little while left tonight? Um, is there any other Van Halen related news you want to get to? There's there's a few there's a few things. Wait a minute, you guys should do a Shrapnel Records guitar player week. That would be awesome. The whole history of that label. Medellini A, I I've met um uh Shrapnel Records. I'm <laughs> I've I met that's the, like the um what's his <clears throat> name? I met him at Jason Becker's house. Let me pull up the Shrapnel Record uh artist or uh whatever it would be called. I had a few, obviously a few CDs um, <clears throat> from Shrapnel Records back in the day. There we go. Thank you, Sharon. Yeah, Mike Varney. I've met Mike Varney. Yeah, he's the, uh, yep. let's see. I've met him many obviously, times, actually. Cacophony was on there. C -c 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 yeah, I met him. I I met him at Jason Becker's house. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we could get him on here. Oh, Johnny Highland is on there. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Richie Kotzen, Mark Rizzo, um, Jason Becker, obviously. Number of people. <clears throat> Marty Leo. Freeman. Richie Leo, Kotzen. I heard about that. David Lee Roth is going to be featured on a new show called Front Men or something on Reels. Hmm. There's going to be something. Greg Howe. Something coming up. Where's the record? That Keel was on there. Vinnie Moore. Um, I passed. I passed Vinnie Moore at a guitar center one time. <laughs> Jesus, I passed him. Well, he was. I was walking in. He was walking out. This was years ago. Richie Cotson. He he's been on here. Jake e. Lee. He's been on here before. Um yeah, Ingve. John I Five. Jim I love Jim Varney. <laughs> <laughs> Did I not have a record on? What the heck, man? Maybe it wasn't on uh maybe it wasn't on this uh label. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, anyway. Anyway. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So Johnny, what did we? What else did we have to touch on today? Beside, beside hand farts. Well, one thing which which <clears throat> I I can't I can't believe this man. Hey Dave Ennis. Hey now. Dave Ennis. Hey dude. I cannot believe it is. It has been 
a year since since Wolfgang released Distance. That, that yeah, that, I mean that feels like like two months ago to me. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a year. That's that's insane. Because I remember I was sitting right here. You don't say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I think. Um, hang on one sec. I got you covered. Don't worry about it, Johnny. There we go. I I think he released it like at midnight, or shortly before midnight. I think on on iTunes the the uh the track distance mm -hmm. so i remember i remember hearing it it was late at night but i, I remember i remember uh buying it off itunes and, and listening to it with headphones um what was it i had to figure out a way how to buy it actually because i have an itunes account but i had it on my older computer I don't have it on this. I didn't have it on whatever computer. I, was, I wasn't using this computer yet. I had, I you guys, be, a little behind the scenes. I've 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 been through like three different computers within the past year. So so I had my main computer. For some reason, I had switched to another computer that didn't have iTunes on it. So I couldn't, I couldn't get it, and and I think with. I don't think I could even get it on my phone. I think what I had to do was I, I had to somehow buy it off uh, off my iPad. Like I, I was logged into to an iTunes account on this iPad here, and I was able to download it from here and then transfer it from here to my phone, like the track distance from iTunes. I think that's how I did it. That I think, sounds like I think, a lot of work. It was. It was, and I was scrambling. I was scrambling to do it because there it was. It was available. It's like, oh, I got to hear this. I got to get it. So yeah, it was. It was kind of. It was. It was. It was wild. But uh, I can't believe that was a year ago. That to me, that that still feels like a couple months ago. Yeah. Well, real quick, that 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 shrapnel show that might be cool on a Tuesday because I'm sure Mancuda and Paul. Those guys probably know so much about that entire roster of players on that label and bands. Um, mm -hmm. You know that that might be a cool show for the the maybe the Tuesday, the Tuesday crew. You know. Mm -hmm. So anyway, back to uh, distance. Crazy. <clears throat> yeah, I, I I can't believe it's it's been a year. Wow. Yeah, so on Tuesday, so the last Tuesday, I think, we'll celebrate the first anniversary of the lead single, Distance, from his debut album. The single also marked the first release by his band, Mammoth, WVH, and paid tribute to his relationship with his late father, Eddie Van Halen. Which, yeah, man, that that's still... It's unbelievable, man. I mean, I wake I wake up every day and it still kind of like 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 hits you somehow you know because obviously you know we're huge fans and 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 uh you know the more you you uh are the more you're you're into like a certain band or a certain thing the more stuff you you talk about and and look up or whatever the more that algorithm of wherever gives you mm -hmm. You know, plus I run like a huge Van Van Halen Facebook group. I've got a, a, a Instagram EBH Gear Live page that I that I do. So so I see this stuff all the time. People message me all the time Van Halen stuff. I mean, it's 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 nonstop, and it's great. I love it. I it's 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 um it's like finally after all these years, it's <clears throat> like I I really don't have to like. If anything happens in the world of Van Halen, people tell me it's not like I, I have to like dig and search for stuff like back in the day. Like people are always like, hey, Johnny, did you see this, Johnny? Look at this, Johnny. So. So that's amazing. And thank you so much to everybody that that that, that helps and, and, and contributes. Um, but uh, 
Where was I going with this? <laughs> I don't know. You were going one place and then you veered off. I was. Where was I, I going? Th- I think. What are you talking about? Like, it kind of hits you. Oh, okay. So I wake up every day and I'm bombarded with Van Halen stuff all day long, and it's great, and I love it. But it's still, it, it's 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 still like Ed is saying here. It's still like like. Even though I I know that 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 he passed away, it, it's still like it's still not. It just it 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 gets you. Well, I'm going to try to explain it. And, you know? and Ed, you're right, man. I have not been able to watch the video for that, and it might have something to do with you know me having kids too. Um, that I'm sure has a lot to do with it because I've definitely become more emotional <laughs> um, since having children. But again, I think it go, it just goes back like, you know, my brother got me into Van Halen and, and all this stuff at a very young age. And it just, it's one of those things like, it's always been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. Eddie Van Halen has always been the greatest guitar player as long as I can remember. Um, and obviously listening to the music my entire life and having it around me, um, it feels like, you know, a part of you went as well. And it's, it's different. Like it goes the same thing with it. If anybody's out there, it was like a sports fan, right? Like you grow up and all of a sudden the players that you grew up watching are retiring and stuff. It's like, wow, I'm getting old now. It's, it's a weird thing that starts happening. Like when you, you know, watch sports as a kid, all these players are older than you. And then once you're older than all those players, it's a very weird thing that happens. Like you all of a sudden, you know, almost turn into your father, you know, oh, this kid, this kid, you know, and it's it's the same thing with music. It's like when something that is that important to you or somebody, you know, musically or whatever that has influenced you in so many ways and has been a part of your life for that long, mm-hmm. when that person's gone it definitely it, a part of you leaves too, you know? Um, and that's, I think what, what it is. It's like our whole lives, Van Halen has been here, you know? So it's a, it's, it sucks, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's still, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. And I don't think it'll ever be, it'll, I don't think it'll ever be normal. No. And we're lucky, dude. Uh, the uh, the um, generation that we are, whatever generation that is, I don't know. Um, and even even the generations before us, we are literally one of the last, the last bastions of of society. No, like young kids now, they don't have this attachment to, like they don't feel a part of what we feel and felt to these bands growing up we felt like we were a part of something and still do, you know, and mm-hmm. very passionate about it. And the generate, the younger generations, they're, they're not going to have that when they grow up. You know, a lot of the music that they listen to is as though, you know, Johnny come lately type of stuff, not you, but it's just the saying of like, <laughs> you know, I wish it was me here today. I wish gone, they were listening to my music <laughs> No, here today, gone later today type of stuff. You know, the stuff they're listening to, I'll take it months down the road. It's it's gone. (laughs) You know, they don't have that, that lifelong connection and attachment to this music and and these players that we have. It's it's not just them though. It's, 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 uh, I don't want to say society. It's, it's just people. It's just, that's just the world now. Yes. Everything is is them. them. I'm saying it's, it's everything is, is you scroll, you scroll through, you're always on to the next, next thing, next. It's like, you talked to me. Was that last night you called me? You called me a couple nights ago. nights ago, And I, I remember telling you, my, my wife's busting my balls in a text message right now. Oh my God. You're so old back in my day. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. Go ahead. (laughs) No, it's like, it's like when I was telling you, I guess it was a couple days ago. When we do these shows, once we're done with the show, you know, I podcast it and I do, you know, whatever. These show, you know, I was telling Laz this stuff yesterday as well. These particular shows that we do, they have a shelf life of about a week, you know, and then it's always the next one. 
So every time we we stop, every time we complete a show, I'm on to the next show. It's always next, 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 next. Mm -hmm. And and that's just how media is nowadays. Everything is swipe, swipe left, swipe left. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's it's always it's it's nothing. Like I don't know if if you're on TikTok, but every time I go to TikTok, I'm sitting there and it's just. I mean, there is a lot of great content there, and I I really need to do more more stuff. Uh, I need to bring the 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 Johnny Bean brand over. Over, uh, I, there needs to be more of a TikTok uh, 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 scene with with what we're doing here, definitely, because that, that would really help. Um, but but yeah, when you go there, it's like you you basically see literally you you can see a hundred different pieces of content within literally a, a couple minutes a mm-hmm. hundred different things and then five minutes later you can't remember one thing you just saw even though you just saw a hundred literally a hundred different different things different videos but see that's how people are now it's it's always it's next 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 so yeah. so with what you're saying though is is you know in 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 uh 10 years you know, people that are that are getting into music now, the stuff they listen to now, it's it's there. There won't be really like 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 a, a foundation, an attachment, I guess. like kind of like what 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 we had, especially with with being able to hold like a physical copy, like vinyl. I know a lot of the stuff's coming back, um, so there kind of is some of that um actually there's one of my favorite bands uh she and him actually they're releasing or re-releasing a, a christmas record and they're actually releasing it on cassette so cassettes are back you know mm-hmm. so even though it is kind of a, a throwback to a lot of you know people growing up nowadays like oh wow cassette wow vinyl you know cds yeah. i consider cds old i don't even use cds anymore well, no, I know me neither, but I think also, man, is now every single genre of music is so oversaturated and there's just so much stuff out there to listen to and, you know, new music coming out every day. You know, when we were kids and growing up and stuff, it wasn't, it wasn't like that. You know, it, there wasn't a million bands, you know, doing the same stuff. I mean, obviously mm-hmm. you had the main ones you know, flying the flag. And then you had other ones as well, but it wasn't like just, Oh my God, just look up Spotify. And it's just, yeah. Well, no, there was, there was a million bands, but you've never heard of them. You never saw them. They were in like every little town there was, there was a million Eddie Van Halen guys playing guitars. You know, there was literally, I don't know, millions. Yeah. But but it wasn't accessible to us. It wasn't accessible to the general population. That's what I mean. It's like, we only were, you know, no, and you would Weird. you would make pen pals, you know, Metal Edge magazine, that. you know, you you would meet people, you know. It's like, wow, that guy likes the same. You trade tapes, you you know. That's how I I got I've got all these Van Halen bootlegs on cassettes. Like I've got all these shows that actually aren't even on YouTube that I I re- really transfer a lot of that. I get all that stuff for free. People would send them to me back in the nineties. Back in my you know? day. <laughs> You know, yeah. <laughs> you know what's going to happen, man? Is that the the young whatever? If it's this generation or next, whatever it is, in a certain number of years, I think it's already started to happen. Um, but I mean, the the modern music, it's really just soulless and and not all of it, but for the most part, you know, the music that a lot of these younger kids are listening to. I mean, there's a reason why a lot of these groups or artists and stuff and songs, you know, in six, eight months, a year later, no one's listening to them anymore. Yeah. They're real popular now, but they're just cookie cutter crap. Mm-hmm. And eventually the younger generation is going to really, really grab hold of the rock and roll stuff. And hopefully it, it brings it back out again. And, you know, goes like, goes like that. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I, I hate to see it. I mean, I don't see, well, we can talk about this tomorrow too. Oh yeah. New music sucks. James G. Yeah. 
No, the music scene, music, the way people uh, buy music, you know. Consume steal, music. Steal music. I don't steal music. Not anymore. Um, Not anymore. But, I mean, it's, it's changed. Everything has is, is, is just changed forever. Yes. And, and um, it's, it's not, I don't know. It's, it's, you know what, dude? The only way it goes back to what it was is if like an EMP goes off and just <laughs> inter- internet is gone. You know what I mean? Internet goes bye bye. And then. The only the cream of the crop are the ones as 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 Macho Man would say, cream of the crop. Yeah, those that are the actually, ones that everyone's gonna gonna know about. That that actually happened, or was gonna happen in a, a Katy Perry video. I don't know if you ever, if you, I don't know how many of you guys. Yeah, I, I tell you guys, I know this is a Van Halen show. I listen to like I'm I'm on top of like everything there is. You're on top like, of Katy. Oh, never mind. I keep track. I keep track of everything that's going on. So. But anyway, no, there's this Katy Perry video for a song called End of the World. And if you guys saw the... Uh, she actually makes pretty good videos. Again, I know this is the Van Halen show. She doesn't make anything. But... um, You mean they make they make good videos for her, you mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, she's got pretty good videos. I mean, they're 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 pretty pretty good. She's got pretty um, good something, something else is too, but, you know, that's but, uh, neither here nor there. But anyway, th- there's there's a uh, a video for a song called "End of the World" where these aliens they're gonna they're gonna destroy the Earth, but they 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 want to kidnap they want Katy Perry, so so at, anyway in the video, for some reason Zoe Dashnell is sitting on a park bench, and and Katy Perry goes by that's when she had her kid, and and she's pushing this uh this the the, the baby stroller and the aliens end up kidnapping Zoe, bringing her up thinking that she's katie and and so she's up there in this in this uh the spaceship and she sees what's going on and what they were going to do was they were going to unplug the internet they were going to going back to what you're saying they were going to like destroy the world and unplug the internet and 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 everything um but then they realize that we're doing it we're we're destroying ourselves and they're like eh, we can we we can leave them alone they're doing it they're doing it (laughs) doing it themselves anyway stupid humans Anyway, no, she's got some great videos. She's got some great somethings, yeah. I mean, they're they're pretty good. Well, David Ennis says he still buys CDs. Uh, let's see, man, yeah, yeah. I uh, I'll I'll, I'll buy a, a CD if if it's something that that uh, it depends. It depends. I normally. I, I normally uh, like I said, uh, iTunes. You know, I scramble to to download, you know, the stuff from iTunes. Uh, I don't know why I couldn't. I know what it was because I didn't have this. I didn't have this phone then, when that came out. I didn't have this phone, so I didn't have. For some reason, I, okay. Uh, yeah, what, what is going uh, on here? A lot, a lot happens in a year. When I was Man. trying to get the the Wolfgang song, I couldn't, I couldn't get it on a, on, I couldn't get it on iTunes. Hang on, but you I'm got still, it I'm still here, right? Obviously. Anyway, oh, I guess, I guess I'm here. Uh, I'm solo. Okay. Um, I'm still here. What was I? I was going to say something the podcast i just you know spotify is i mean i know i'm probably hurting my own uh you know cause but it's just so convenient and um i mean it's amazing we used to drive around you know we used to get like the cd books you know 100 cds 200 cds whatever and the and the big you know the big binders those you know? binders yeah yeah and like dude yeah. what do you want to listen to how many times people think People think texting and driving is dangerous. Try picking a CD out of a CD book and driving. That's more dangerous. I yelled at a lady today. I, w- I was walking over to Whole Foods and there's this lady driving, but she's she's looking down at her phone. She's doing this as she's driving past the, the entrance to the store. 
and she had the window down. So I yelled into her window, hey, no. stop, stop looking at your phone. You know, because that's dangerous. That that's you don't say. That's not good. Yep. I know. You know. Wait, majestic. What'd you say? Oh, you're oh, you're you're talking on the Discord. Or right, wait for. <laughs> hey, Johnny, if you put the green screen on right now, or the green screen filter, will your guitar moir disappear? Let's try it. The green screen filter. Oh, somebody changed. Somebody change it to green real quick. God damn it. Well, no, do the blue screen then. Oh, because of the... Yeah, go, oh, go by to the way, cam... Small mouth guy. Thank you, man. Go to cam slash mic and then go to green screen. Change it to backdrop color. Go to blue. Here. And then see if it... Uh... <clears throat> I'll try that. The the thing is though, it 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 um <clears throat> it messed up my my uh my camera was messed up for a while because of this. What? It actually it actually it's on there. Well, do the um fade. You have to do it with with a picture behind you though, right? Well, just pick one of the stock pictures. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then adjust the fade a little bit. There, there you go. Oh, oh no. Oh, Evgen. That's on, my actual if, house. Talking to... Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is like me on the Halloween show. Which, by the way, if if you uh, if you're watching this and you won a prize on the Halloween show and you haven't heard from us, contact me, please. Yes. We're trying we're trying to get all that stuff squared away. I just I I got I sent Zims today addresses for those t-shirts that people won. <clears throat> I personally uh made sure the Johnny Bean shirts uh made sure people got the codes so that they could look, order look, those. Look, look at the screen. Oh, look at the camera. Your your eyes are gone. Uh, yeah. Oh my <laughs> I know. It's I think it's the it's the glass it's the glasses. <laughs> I think I yeah it's 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 the glasses. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work on mine. Though. Oh my, my god! Nerd, my I'm nerd hailing uh, green glasses. I'm gonna change this back because wait a minute. <clears throat> oh, it's blue. Okay, yeah. When you have it on on a certain color and it's wrong, it like messes with stuff. That's right, right? Yeah. Just turn it off. Whatever. Yeah, that's right. Who who small mouth guy said I would love to see eight tracks make a comeback. Why? <laughs> Why would anybody want a track? You can only fast forward. You can't rewind them. <laughs> that's Laz. Like, that sounds like a nightmare. Uh. I mean, it's cool. The retro thing is cool. Yeah. But once... No, F that, man. Thank you, Boner Jams. Yeah, that was a nice house. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, Music Therapy Laz, you haven't got your strings yet. Okay, see, we got to figure out. We got to figure out where your strings were going to come Wait, from. Laz, you, you were at Guitar Center yesterday. You should have bought some. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, he um, won some. I know. I'm just busting. Let me see. I actually, I have a list, and I'm still, I'm still here. I'm not. Let me see. Laz. Laz, your strings. Your strings were coming from. It just says guitar strings. Pango, Pango. Just says guitar strings. So. All right. All right. Yeah. So we, we got to figure out. Anyway, we'll figure all that stuff out. Maybe, maybe in time for next year's. Uh, Halloween show. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe we'll figure that out. So are we are we good? Well, does anybody in the chat have anything they want answered or any questions or uh ask anything? him a question. Ask him a question real quick. I gotta refill refill my cup again. All right, and then we'll split all this tea. And then we'll split. I think, you know, we have um, tomorrow, Saturday Night Live, obviously. Um, 
we got the crew back together for tomorrow's show. Um, but Wednesday, obviously, then we got you got the Tuesday show, and then Wednesday is the right boner jams. This Wednesday, this coming Wednesday is the uh, Metal Wednesday show, correct? The last Wednesday of the month. Um, and we may have somebody be somebody somebody be joining us. Oh my God. We may have somebody joining us to talk about um, the Black Album from Metallica for a little bit. Uh, Kurt5150, he, he and I talked on the phone today for a few. And um, he was interested in maybe talking about the Black Album. Uh, and that would be awesome. So maybe we'll do that on this coming Wednesday. I know Boner Jams probably already has a... Uh, an itinerary for that show, but I'm sure we can squeeze in ugh, a little bit of black album talk. Cause I love, you know, for, for how much that I love Metallica and, uh, and how much I love, you know, the thrashy aspect, especially of the earlier stuff. And, you know, justice is my favorite Metallica record. The black album is just a modern or a, um, a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, classic well obviously a production masterpiece but a sonic that's what i want to say a sonic masterpiece it really is i mean does it sound dated is it dated at all to you god no no um i think every metallica album before justice sounds dated like i love listen i'm gonna get a lot of hate for this oh kurt oh you want to come on now now you got vacation wednesday you know what (laughs) <laughs> we'll do it uh, we'll do it next month um you know i love master of puppets i think that if that had i don't want to say this but when i listen to that Man. album obviously it's great <laughs> it, it, it if i step back it probably is metallica's greatest album probably the best you know, metal album of all time. If I step back away from it, right away from everything that I'm as, you know, that I think is, is the best Mm -hmm. master of puppets is it's a masterpiece. It really is the songwriting, um, the performances, everything on that album is just great. But when I listen to it now, I, I feel like the production is a little dated, you know, especially in the drums. That's where I kind of hear it. Which album? Master of Puppets. That came out what year? 86. So they really didn't know how to how to record metal then. Anything from 1986 is going to sound dated now. Everything from 1986. No yeah, matter what but... it is. TV, movies, yeah. anything uh is is going to is going to sound I mean it I mean the thing is with 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 the uh, and these days, it's it's actually um, you actually get a lot of retro bands now. You get retro versions of stuff, mm-hmm. so so you get you get a lot of stuff nowadays that has a sound from a certain era or a certain. Oh yeah, like uh, a, band, a band I'm a fan of, Crazy Licks. They just came out with a new album. What last week, <clears throat> week and a half ago, and they're they're one of those bands, modern rock bands that yeah, you know they try to say and it's. But again, it's it's kind of has the modern polish on top yeah. of '80s production. But see, this is actually a good conversation for, t- for tomorrow. Yeah. But see, well, then where are they going to go in five years? Are they going to keep? Are they going to just? They're kind of like in a in a capsule of like a certain certain yeah. certain sound. Mm-hmm. They can't really progress from that. They can't. No, but they do can't you, really. I don't think I don't think their fans want them to progress from that. You know. Mm-hmm. That's how I kind of feel about it. I don't want them to really go and do something that's different. I, I think they're really, you know, because a lot of us um, love that era of of hard rock, and it's nice to kind of have something new to listen to that puts you back in that same kind of like uh, mindset or. Uh, what whatever other word I'm looking for, you know, it kind of brings you back, but also it's new. Mm-hmm. 
I think that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So crazy yeah, look that... from Sweden, Bry the sign guy. Of course. Oh, so that <laughs> their music what? probably sounds brand new to a lot of people <laughs> over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Master Puppets just came out over there. <laughs> Poison. They they think they think that poison's a bunch of chicks. It's because <laughs> it just came out. You, you see that new band of chicks, Poison? Yeah. No, I have Swedish friends. I'm just kidding. Well, the singer on the new Gizmachi record is is uh, from Sweden. So there mm -hmm. you go. <laughs> uh. Footage from EVH Con, right? Well, there's the link in the chat. Make sure you guys check it out. Smash some thumbs ups on that. And maybe at next year's EVH Con, you will see us in person. Maybe. Yep. That'd be cool. You know what we got to do? We got to have a set built at EVH Con. Like your room behind you, mm -hmm. my room behind me. You know? <laughs> we'll, we'll literally be sitting like like five feet apart from each other or facing each other. Yeah, we gotta be we gotta be facing each other, like on yeah. one end of the table. You know. Yeah. What it would be is we would have a split green screen behind us, so we would have our actual backgrounds behind us. From no, there. I want a set built, Johnny. If we're gonna be going, I want sets built. You we got set? we got people who can build stuff out there. Come on. <laughs> Steve Carmichael, you got to come out with us and build build our our backdrops. Yep, <laughs> that's right. Get some get some cardboard guitars built and painted. You know, get to build the gem <laughs> for me. Get some Frankenstrats out there. Uh, we're such we're so such idiots. Did Rob Johnson? Of course, he went to EVH Con. Rob Johnson. Yeah, he was there. Yeah. Watch the video. He's in it. Check it out. Kurt5150 was on location. Yeah. On assignment. <laughs> on assignment, on location. <laughs> he flew all the way out from, from West Coast. Yeah. Yep. All the way out. And maybe you'll see some of us driving out there, maybe. Oh, my God. Jeff T. Look at Jeff T's comment. Is it hidden? No, it's there. John Biel, that one? Yeah, could build a mini, mini room. Oh, <laughs> John Biel could build our sets just like mini version. Yep. We would have them sitting there on the table. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, there he is. Yeah, his ears are burning. Hey, man. Yeah, we've been talking about you all night, man. It's about time you got in here. John Biel, we can talk more about this tomorrow, but we're, we're trying to next year's evh con we have to all be there man we have we have to be there myself jay hannon john biel kurt 5150 uh everybody whoa false flag there you go see thank you so much false flag johnny don't mention it um my ears are burning well as long as it doesn't burn when you pee i think i think you're okay well, if ears are if his ears are burning while he pees, what does that mean? It's in your area, John Biel, dude. Yeah, yeah. We got we got to get the whole crew to this thing, make it an event. Because if if uh, now that that uh, I'm John Biel, I'm sure you know this. Howard Stern talked about it the other day. So, so. Uh, here we go again. Wait. See, thing, that's why. We stayed on late tonight, huh, Johnny? Yeah. Thank you, Kurt. See, that's what happens. When I mess with the green screen, it messes with my lights. Well, turn because... the green screen off. Where is it? Camera mic. It's not that I turn it off. I have to change the settings of it from green. I have to change it to. There we go. Right? Yeah. I have yeah. to change it to the blue screen. Otherwise, the, the, the colors are messed up. And I, that kept happening, and I couldn't figure it out why. Then I finally figured it out. If Johnny is going, I'm there. John Biel. Oh, well, if John Biel's going, I'm not. I don't want to go there. 
I got a no John, no John BL shirt. No, I'm joking. Wait a minute. I'm still messed up. Look, I'm totally green now. You are. Oh, dang it. Dude, all you have to do is go to go to the thing. Green screen. Go to green screen and hit the no virtual background, the uh the no bozos circle with the line through it. There it is. Oh, because I had I had it on on that. <clears throat> yeah. There you go. This is what it should actually be. <laughs> there, yeah, perfect. <laughs> live from live from EVH Con. It's uh oh. <laughs> brr, brr. <laughs> oh, Matthew Stewart. No, uh, let's see. Where is it? How do I get rid of this? Where the hell did it go? Who just, where the hell did the comment go? Oh, Mike Nee said, I just woke up from a nap. I missed the whole show practically. Lucky you. No, I'm joking. Rewind it. Go back. Oh, there we go. Mike Nee, thank you so much, man. I got your email earlier. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you. Dude. Dude, dude. Dude. Wait no, what the heck? What the heck is going on? It's Friday, man. It is. Fun, 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 fun. Everybody remember that song? No. I'm glad I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Crap, what am I doing, man? I'm trying to... Oh, my gosh. Right, Ned? We got Ned here. John BL is in the chat. John BL. John BL's program tomorrow night, Saturday Night Live, 11, p is it 11? 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific for John BL's Saturday Night. There we go. The session is already up. The video is already there. So actually at the end of this show, after the credits, don't leave. No, no, no. Stay. This video will morph into tomorrow's video. Smash morph. the thumbs up on tomorrow's video. It will morph. Get the comment section going. And then after tomorrow's show is over, stay there. Tomorrow's show will morph into the Sunday show. I'm not kidding either. I'm not joking. And, yeah, and that's cool, dude. And everybody can stop the hate mail. The, the crew is back tomorrow. <clears throat> Actually, Kurt, I have to I have to ask everybody if that's okay if you come on, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of crap for uh for having somebody on last week. Who's <laughs> it's we're not gonna get into it, but no. Um but yeah, Kurt, definitely, man. Definitely. Wait, really? No, I'm just <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> man now kurt kurt's awesome yeah yeah kurt is awesome john biel carol hatcher oh hey now everybody all right so what are we uh oh my gosh I'm going to show this real quick one more time. Let me turn off the green screen here. Again, Brendan Butt Cheeks, thank you for uh, my little Butt Cheeks mold. My little pick holder. With the... Uh, got that. Not that it'll focus on it. And then... Yeah! <laughs> Keeping it real. <laughs> If you hold it the other way, it's a peanut. A peen what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs> Steve Carmichael, thank you for my guitar pick holder. It's a Wolfgang. Look at that. Nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Whoops. All right. 
All right. Are we good? Um, we're good. All right. I got to get some dinner. I'm going to get some dinner and stuff. If you guys want to keep the party going, after dinner tonight, I will be live doing some GTA on Twitch. Are you here, uh, uh, robot? Are you here, man? We have a great time over there. I know some of you guys think I'm, I'm crazy. We actually have a great time over on Twitch. Currently, I do some Grand Theft Auto. But I will be doing other stuff as well over there. Robot Master Switch keeps saying, Johnny, you got to play guitar over there on Twitch. You got to play guitar. So as soon as I get my my setup rolling, uh, I will definitely uh, definitely do some of that. But if you if you don't want if you're not going if you're not going to bed, if you want to hang out with me a little later on, I guess is what I'm saying in a couple few hours, a couple hours. I'll be live on Twitch. So yeah, follow me. Follow me over there. We have a great time. And I what I do is I have the live uh Discord voice channel going. So you guys can talk with me and we ac- we can actually talk to each other while while I'm playing the game. Ooh. So Ooh. So it's awesome. It is awesome. Thank you so much channel channel members. And I am this weekend. Definitely. I'm going to ch- all these cards will be redone. They'll all be just totally redone. I know some of you guys go by different handles now, different screen names. Uh, some of these names on here aren't even around anymore. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm, I'm redoing these cards this weekend. I promise. Updated, updated, brand new look. <laughs> brand new and yeah and yeah we'll see you guys uh tomorrow night Saturday night live with john bl so john bull love you all hope we'll see you guys later have a good night Be- johnny bean tv Thank <laughs> you.